thank you for joining in with me today. Today I'm going to be reading something from Max Lucado, Christ Through the Bible. Jesus Washes Our Feet. Praise God. I don't understand how God can be so kind to us, but He is. He kneels before us, takes our feet in His hands, and washes them. Please understand that in washing the disciples' feet, Jesus is washing ours. You and I are in His story. We are at the table. That's us being cleansed, not from our dirt, but from our sins. Don't miss the meaning here. To place our feet in the basin of Jesus is to place the filthiest parts of our lives into his hands. In the ancient East, people's feet were caked with mud and dirt. The servant of the feast saw to it that the feet were cleaned. Jesus is assuming the role of the servant. He will wash the grimiest part of your life if you let him, if we let him. The water of the servant comes only when we confess that we are dirty. Only when we confess that we are caked with filth. That we have walked forbidden trails and followed the wrong paths. We tend to be proud like Peter and resist. I'm not that dirty, Jesus. Just sprinkle a few drops on me and I'll be fine. What a lie. If we say we have no sin, we are fooling ourselves and the truth is not in us. And you can find that in 1 John chapter 1, verse 8. We will never be cleansed until we confess that we are dirty. And we are dirty with sin. Each and every one of us. We will never be pure until we admit that we are filthy. And we will never be able to wash the feet of those who have hurt us until we allow Jesus, the one we have hurt, to wash ours. You see, that is the secret of forgiveness. You will never forgive anyone more than God has already forgiven you. Only by letting him wash your feet can you have strength to wash those of another. I thought this was a beautiful story of humility. And may we try to be humble and be servants as our Lord was to us. Thank you so much for joining in. Y'all have a blessed day.